Well, guess what I've been up to. After spending a couple of hours installing this Sikaflex seam filler, um, I slowly came to the conclusion that it's not the best stuff for the job. I first started uh, working on the transom area here, but what I found eventually was that if there were any minute air bubbles trapped in the seams, um, they would expand when the heat went up and I'd get this bubbling effect on the seams here. So, what I've decided to do is go with the old school um, linseed oil based putty and I have had to rake out all of this part of the boat that I had done previously here. And believe me, raking out this Sikaflex uh, seam filler is no easy task. Perhaps the toughest thing that I was dealing with was these uh, very thin points of wood here. And I was afraid that as I was ripping it out, I would uh, damage these points. But uh, so far, so good. Well, here's the progress so far on ripping out this Sikaflex seam filler. Uh, this was all filled in and I have hopefully successfully uh, ripped it all out back to the clean wood. It was all the way up past the um, main frame where the steering wheel is and I've ripped it out here on the transom area and I'm almost finished because if I just move over here I've got this done and I just have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more seams to do, and then I'll be finished. What I have found eventually uh, is a, a, a fairly good technique of taking this out, um, and it involves my uh, grout knife here. Um, what I found is that if I put two blades, I don't know if you can see that, two blades together side by side, it thickens up, um, the actual uh, grout blade itself and uh, it seems to create a very clean uh, removal system as opposed to just one blade here uh, that is normally on the knife so what I've done is I've taken two blades and attached them here so I'm All gonna right, show so you how that works. The first thing I do works. is um, take my knife here and I just uh, cut two seams um, right through this bring it down And I'm just knocking a part out of the middle here. So making a V cut, making sure I don't bite into the mahogany. And then with any luck, that should remove. And that creates a V notch. And then it should pull out here, like that. Next thing I'm going to do is rake it out with my modified screwdriver here. That just helps to loosen things up a little bit. And now I'm going to take my double bladed grout 
uh, tool here and start to heave it out this way. So as you can see here, as I keep moving the grout tool back and forth, it slowly, slowly cleans this out. Uh, it takes some going, um, but it seems to be the best method so far. I'm going to continue on here. slowly cleaning up and then uh, once I get it down to the bare wood and get the edges uh, cleaned up then I'll just take some 80 grit paper here and finish it off. So there we go. Uh, it's a long slow process but hopefully in the end it'll be worth it. <laughs>